This evening, what I'm going to do is go over just a little tidbit of information I learned just a few hours ago. And it involves using Excel, Word, and Adobe Acrobat. Basically, what I'm doing is I'll just step through it here. Because I have so far, well, for this first batch at least, it's a list of 49 houses that have all been listed with the realtor for over 100 and I think it's 120 days. So from I guess with my stance I feel like maybe some of these people are going to um, begin to get motivated if they're not already. So I figure why not just go ahead and submit some offers out just in bulk. And to do that um, I listed each one of these people per line with you know address Realtor, the realtor's email address, yada yada yada, and I incorporated some of these fields into a basic contract. This contract actually I got through J.P. Moses. It's just a just like a really basic one-page contract that you can use. Uh, I mean, most realtors are going to want if if anything's agreed upon, they're going to put it on their standard contract. Find out the hard way they don't for whatever reason. Um, in certain areas they don't like an individual buyer to use the standard contract from the get-go so I use my own contract and it's easier for me anyway because I at least can mail merge with this. But anyway, so for instance what I got going on here is just a basic contract and these fields highlighted in gray are the, the mail merge fields. And so basically you got the date, owner, the address, the pin, the offer price, closing date. And that's those are the only fields that change. This here, I scanned in, I, I, I wrote or I signed my name on a piece of paper, scanned it into my scanner, and then uh, made a JPEG of it and imported it into Microsoft Word. Not hard at all. Um, if you want me to tell you how to do that, I guess send me an email or something like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, back to the mail merge part. So basically I have all the relevant fields from this spreadsheet into this contract and I'm able to merge. Uh, as you see, as I'm going through here, those fields are changing. And so there it is. So now I have 49 contracts ready to go and I have all of the realtor email addresses that uh, the sell side realtor that have these things listed so instead of printing all these things out to PDF and then manually um, emailing all these attachments there's a little trick I found if you have Adobe Acrobat when you install it it'll give you like this Microsoft Word plugin so now I have Adobe PDF as an option up top here on the uh, toolbar so what you do is go to the toolbar, select Mail Merge to Adobe PDF. Then you select all, um, you know, all documents. And then in this case, it'd be 49. You specify the file name. What I did is I select, I selected Justin McClellan, or you select, uh, you can just say like real estate offer. So that that's going to be the name of the attachment of the email. And then um, under email options, what you'll want is in the to field, since I have realtor email as a column here, it picks that up on my on my drop down here. So then I can select realtor email. Then subject line it can be like real estate offer or something like that. And then you can say, please see the attached PDF file. I don't know what else you would write. But anyway, so that's what you would do. You would click OK, and it would go through its little thing. I'm not going to do it again, because uh, I already did it. And um, if you use, you'll have to have some type of associated email client with Microsoft Word. I use Outlook. So once I click OK, it goes through and it does its little thing. And I'll show you what one of the end emails look like. So 
So here's my sent folder, and you have, here you see all the same emails that went out. And so here's one of them. So just a one-liner. Please see the attached PDF. This is an all-cash offer. It's from me to this realtor subject line real estate offer and here's my attached PDF. So here it is. Looks nice and clean. It's got my, my signature. Kind of looks like I signed it for real. And um, yeah, it's that. Just something real basic. If that number just happens to uh, to be what that buyer needs, then I'm sure that realtor will shoot back the standard four-page contract, and uh, we go from there. But anyway, that's how. That's a little trick I learned just now on how to kind of incorporate all these different softwares to further streamline things. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, on a side note, Adobe Acrobat. It's a very good tool. Uh, it's great for making PDFs. I actually have a, uh, a hookup on Adobe Acrobat. Usually costs like 150 bucks. I can get it to you for much, much less if you want. Uh, I only have that for PCs. I don't have. I don't think this will work for Macs. But anyway, hit me up on Facebook if you want the Adobe Acrobat hookup. Peace out.